Before we get into this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support on the recent Call of Duty videos I've done. If you didn't happen to know, the last two COD videos I did made it onto the trending section for gaming. So thank you guys so much for the amazing support on those videos. If you didn't know this already, Call of Duty pretty much doesn't have a place in the trending section of gaming. The trending gaming section is pretty much just Fortnite, maybe some Minecraft or Roblox here and there. So it's pretty awesome that we were able to get some Call of Duty on the trending section. But today I'm just going to play some Infected on Black Ops 4 and chill. Mostly because today has just been an absolute sh show. Let me explain. So a couple days ago, I slept weird and I really fucked up my neck. Unless I was really stiff and I was just like, you know what? It'll be fine. The day after that, it still wasn't better. It was still stiff, but it really didn't get worse. It was just, you know, it was the same. And then today I didn't really get a lot of sleep. I got like four and a half hours of sleep. Woo. Oh, he's dead. I didn't get him though. But yeah, I got four and a half hours of sleep today. I tried to go back to sleep and I laid on my stomach. And guess what? Now I have the neck of a 90 year old. I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> So yeah, after an impromptu chiropractor appointment, my neck's feeling a little bit better. I just really wanted to get this taken care of. I've been really consistent about videos recently, and I've been doing my best to maintain that consistency, get some regular videos out for you guys. I was not having it. I woke up this morning, and I was like, F you, Nick. You're not gonna ruin this for me. <laughs> I really do believe that a big part of actually feeling better is to just actually have a good attitude about it. Because I woke up this morning, but I decided to actually just change my attitude. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let this ruin my day. I'm actually just gonna try to, you know, not put myself in a horrible mood and actually just, you know, try to look on the brighter side of things. I'm gonna camp so hard on jungle, but hopefully after I'm done recording this video, I actually feel good enough to edit it and have it out. You'd be surprised how much your mindset can completely change your day. Cause I could have very easily just said, you know what? I'm not recording a video today. I'm not gonna get any work done. I think instead I'll just be a big fat walrus and just sit on the couch, which actually brings me to a pretty cool story. I don't know if you guys saw when I was in the lobby, but I'm actually tier 48 for the, like this current contraband stream. Ever since Black Ops 4 brought back infected and propent and actually kept it in the game, both me and Chris to play Black Ops 4 in the living room just kind of casually. And we play on this giant like 65 inch OLED TV. It is bloody gorgeous, but it's pretty terrible for gaming. At least if you're trying to do multiplayer gaming, if you're doing single player, it's not that bad, but it's one of those situations where you can noticeably feel the delay. You'll do something on your controller, but on a big TV like that, it takes a long time for it to actually input. So if you ever see your boy Boochester playing some prop hunter infected, and I'm just doing terrible, like I can't aim in prop hunter, I'm going negative and infected. I'm probably playing on the big TV, but if I'm getting an amazing kill chain like this one, then I'm going off. I'm on the beast setup. I'm down, I'm down. With my, with my blade blade. I'm gonna get you. my Beyblade. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, oh my god! god! Oh Why my were there god. so many of you? <laughs> Why not, my dude? <laughs> oh my goodness. No! <laughs> <laughs> I was about to burn so many people, there were like nine of them coming. <laughs> The pure destruction. So many of you are coming through. I was just like, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, 18 kills. It. Wow. <laughs> Random Tomahawk. Great. I was supposed to camp through the whole game. I actually have no regrets camping and infected. But that's because everybody does it. But yeah, I'm tier 48 right now. I'm really close to getting the Tiger Shark LMG for free. I heard for this contraband stream that there's actually going to be like a second half. They're going to add even more guns. And I'm pretty sure the Ballistic Knife is going to be one of them. So I'm trying my best to actually play more so I can get it. Because that'd be pretty cool. Arsenal Sandstorm. This is the map where I got the kill chain. Let's do it again. I shouldn't crack my neck, but this dude's name is Depressing Ryan. <laughs> Look at the emblem hanging there. Wow, that is like the saddest thing I've seen all day. That's Black Ops 4 for you. <laughs> also completely random, but you might have noticed I have a new wristband. It's like this bright blue aqua kind of mint color. It's a G Fuel one, uh, which by the way, if you use code Merc, you get 30% off. I think it lasts for roughly a week or so. I'll figure out the dates and put it on here. So yeah, if you want to get some G Fuel stuff, use my code, get 30% off. Siri sells some money. It's pretty awesome. Depressing Ryan left the game. He was too happy. He was too excited. He had to leave. Probably to go paint his toenails. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? I don't approve of this. But yeah, usually when I post Black Ops 4, I usually have a lot of complaints. But I actually feel like Black Ops 4 is in a decent state right now. I still do feel like some stuff could be changed or added, but I like prop hunts. I like infected. Ambush is fun. I like the Alcatraz map in Blackout. They're definitely doing some things right. Ooh. What? We're in the middle of a game! Come on! How come whenever I record, I always get like the worst situations, the worst? Like everything! Then when I'm just chilling and playing, you know, casual kill chain. No big deal. Game session no longer available. Thank you! I really appreciate that. I just want to have some fun and hit some doinkies and infected just for and gigs. Is that too much to ask for? Yes. Yes, it is. I can never have good luck when I'm recording. I tried. You spelled tried wrong. You failed! Failure. <laughs> Superior Cupcake. What are these names? Okay, we're back on Arsenal Sandstorm again. But yeah, earlier I was saying that I'm actually enjoying Black Ops 4, but there is something that they're doing that's gonna be pretty dumb. Was it something like they're adding Ground War to Blackout? They're not actually adding Ground War to multiplayer, they're putting it in a Blackout? This is why so many people are so infuriated with the multiplayer. Overall, with Black Ops 4, I think the ball was dropped the hardest with multiplayer. It's what the majority of the Call of Duty community is looking forward to each year. And the recurring problem with Black Ops 4 is that they put too much emphasis on Blackout and they haven't focused on multiplayer enough. So yeah, they're putting ground war in blackout and not multiplayer. Fondy, I'm gonna give you one clap for that. Although to be fair, he's probably high-fiving himself right now. Did you ask you for ground war? Let's put it in blackout. <laughs> that just, what a genius move. He's probably so excited about what he did. He's gonna celebrate by going to his local grocery store, buying some bagel bites, just shove them down his face. <laughs> I'm so smart. This is how I celebrate. <laughs> 
<laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm going on about. I think I'm losing it. But I'm not losing as much as the people that were expecting Ground War and Black Ops 4. Look, I'm gonna continue to play the game, have fun with it, just whatever. Oh my. What I think has happened over time is that everyone got super hyped for Black Ops 4, then nothing really happened with the game, and then the expectations got really low, and now they're actually doing some good stuff. So we're kind of happy for them, but at the same time, they still kind of messed up a lot. I think it's very much so mixed feelings. I was actually really surprised. I recently went back to the Black Ops 4 reveal trailer, and it actually has a pretty mixed reception. I still personally believe that the biggest mistake was them pushing for tactical 5v5 gameplay. This is. <laughs> This is a casual, fun arcade shooter. We're here to have fun, hit some clips, trick shot, whatever. Goof around, do some stupid shit. This guy's burning himself alive just so he can try to infect us. People are more excited when Call of Duty is geared to be a fun game, not a tactical competitive game. It's just my take on it. I know it's not the opinion of everyone, but the fact of the matter is that this is the first and only Call of Duty game to be labeled as a tactical game. I just personally don't see it. This is about as tactical as Black Ops 4 gets. My favorite specialist is Twerk. I'm gonna use my razor wire and my barricade as area denial. <laughs> it's so tactical. It's so tactical, no one will be able to counter it. Except the counter is shooting with a rocket launcher. So tactical! This game is so super tactical! It's not. Just stop. This game is no more tactical than trying to say that a potato is an intelligent life form. Just please stop. Okay, this dude has melted himself again. Like I said before, we're gonna have to wait for Call of Duty 2019 to see if there's truly gonna be any innovation. And the game's gonna be coming from Infinity Ward. The people who made Ghost and Infinite Warfare. So yeah, guys, get ready for some really ambitious and innovative changes. With Call of Doggy, Ghosty, and Infinite... Blop! <laughs> is this person planking? <laughs> we have so many people camping up here right now, it's disgusting. But that's just infected for you. Oh my god, they keep tomahawking everyone. Push them. They can't get us all. Wait, did anyone find the person that was just hiding? There's a dude who's just in here, I'm pretty sure. In the corner. Yep. What is the Gotcha. He thought he was so clever by not going up here. How many missed combat axes there are? So much failure. Just go! Overload them! There we go, one more. Oh my god, he's about to get it like a bayonet quad feed. He's gonna do it! Is he, he did it! Five man! Six man! Keep going, guys. We can do it. Watching the ladder with the bayonet is such cheese, but it's working. Three seconds! Now! I, I tried to get my last throw in there. Here it is. This is the play, guys. Someone almost hit him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Wow. I was glad to be a part of that. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this Black Ops 4 video. If you guys did and you want to see some more Call of Duty stuff, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Yeah.